Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. After spending last 20 plus years working at really very large global organizations and working together with great talented engineers and leaders, I had opportunity to build some of the great enterprise products. These products are used by thousands of organizations worldwide and many thousands, tens of thousands of engineers and consumers also. And during my journey, I really understood the difference between the technology and the product. And for every software engineer, it is very important to understand what they are developing is at the technology stage or it has transitioned from technology to product stage. And that is the topic of this Ramcast video. So you all are welcome to this session of Ramcast where we are going to learn the difference between technology and product in shortest amount of time. You must have seen the chassis or the chassis which is the foundation or the underlying technology for the every automobile which we have seen running on our streets. The chassis can be used to build a flamboyant sports car, very pricey, very specific purpose use. The same chassis can be used to build a sedan. People who are looking for a simple means to move from point A to B can purchase this car. The same chassis can fulfill the need of a family where multiple people can be transported from one point to another. And finally, the same chassis can be used to build a van where not only person, the objects or entities can be moved from one place to another. So there are multiple uses or the multiple products can be created through one single piece of technology. So if we focus the consumers for the chassis, which we are using at the technology here, these could be the limited group of customers because not everyone can use it. Could be businesses who would like to use chassis to build a specific purpose vehicle such as sedan or could be sports car. The same chassis can be used by the research organization, just a tool to perform various research or could be the special interest group, but a very small size organizations who would want to use this chassis for whatever reason they have. Looking at the ranges of consumers, you have better understanding about where the chassis can be consumed and the scope or the scale of its usage. Now let's take a look into the final product. Here we could say that consumers of different type would be interested in buying a sports car. Various individuals worldwide would love to have the sedan. Families of various size would love to have the van as well as the organizations and business will be using the van to transport the goods and items from one place to another. The scope and the scale of consumers for a final product vary comparison to the technology being used to generate the product. So combining these two things together, putting them side by side, you can actually get an idea that the scale and the scope of consumers between the technology and the products are very different. So let's understand a little more differences between these two. The technology is mostly general purpose where the product is very specific purpose. You have to define your product that who is going to use and exactly what its use is going to be. You have to create the finite aspects related to your product. That's why it is specific purpose. The technology is mostly purpose oriented and has more of a functional design versus the product is designed to split for the multiple uses depending on 
using the same technology and adopt the multiple versions. The technology is needed by someone who has a very specific knowledge to use within those target users versus a product is designed to be used by various users within the targeted user scale but no expertise required. That's a very big difference between the technology and the product because the product has a wider range of users using the product versus a technology. You have to have the minimum specific knowledge in order to use it or consume it. The technology is designed to be used with a lots of customization versus a product is ready to go. All the customizations are already been applied in the technology to convert the product. And there is an old but very important saying, the consumers do not buy the technology. They only buy the products. And that rules does apply to anyone and everyone who is building the software technology products. So we must understand the two stages of software development. You start with the technology, which finally transformed into the product. So if you are developing your software, you must realize the current state of your software development. You must know, do you still have the technology or you have achieved the product stage and it is very important and in order to understand the difference between these two here are few suggestions and you can apply these suggestions to understand how you can transition from your technology stage to your product stage first simplify it a technology is never simple because it is used by specific purpose people where the product is used by general purpose. Second, you must iterate your application or the technology again and again so that you can make it simple enough that can be used by anyone and everyone within your target user groups. The third rule is to make it self-serving. Self-serving means when your application is used by your target users, they already know what is happening and in the event of problem or an issue, the software itself help them to solve the problem or find a way to overcome it. And the last but not least, you have to make sure that you are just solving the problem without explaining how you are doing or you are trying to show that how complex the problem was and how hard I did to solve it. As being engineers, that's a very big problem. We try to show the users how we came up to the solution. The consumer just need a solution, not the directions or not the path you have taken to solve it. And I believe that if you follow these four suggestions, I can promise you that you can definitely transition your software technology to the product stage and remember consumers they do not buy technology they only buy products so thank you so much for your time spending with me in this edition of rampcast i hope you have enjoyed the content and i am looking forward to seeing you in my next rampcast video until then thank you so much for your time please be good and do good